okay time keeping is a handy thing to have now uh, but it's not always so easy because especially if you are in egypt in 2000 bc there you have uh, no wi-fi to synchronize your time of windows with the gmt or you have any mechanical watch or a clock that uh, you won't have until 1656 so what would you do if someone come to you and ask you hey what's the time intro now generally like this we have uh, watches and clocks right now we need to keep track of time and these are the devices which we have for and for thousands of years we have been using such devices to keep a measure and track of time now the current system of the time measurement dates back to approximately 2000 bc now from the sumerians now which were not egyptians by the way now sumer is the earliest known civilization from the historical region of southern mesopotamia which is currently the southern iraq now the egyptians divided the day into two 12 hour periods pretty much like now and used large obelisk uh, a track to keep a track of the movement of the sun so obelisk is a tall four-sided narrow tapering monument which ends in a pyramid like shape now we have a famous one at the washington dc the famous washington monument you can see it right here now the basic idea here is to keep the track of the movement of the shadow of the sun and how he does that is uh, the obelisk casts a shadow uh, a large shadow and uh, you just measure the time and the shadow of the obelisk move around during throughout the day so now we have a sundial now sundial is also from the Egypt and dates back to 1500 bc a sundial is a flat plate and it's a dial and a gonom which casts the shadow on the dial now this is the ancient shadow clock now the obelisk dates back to about 3500 bc and is also the earliest shadow clock now shadow clocks were supposedly modified sundials that allowed for a greater precision in the determining the time of the day and the first was used around 1500 bc the obelisk functions in much similar manner by just casting the shadow on the markers around it and allowed the egyptian to calculate the time now the obelisk uh, also indicated whether it was morning afternoon or, or the summer solstice and the winter solstice as well so although accurate shadow clocks relied on the sun and but in the night and on a cloudy day they were useless now this is why there were some other kind of clocks too like the water clock and one type of it consisted of a ball with small holes on its bottom which was floated on the water and then allowed it to fill at a near constant rate now the markings on the side of the ball would just indicate the elapsed time and the surface of the water reached so then we had shadow clocks but these were quite nasty now another egyptian method of determining the time of the day was using the plumb lines called the markets now the exact design of the market consists of a horizontal bar usually carved with wood or bone with plumb line hanging from the transverse end of the bar attached to the controlling wooden handle now the market used in the co conjunction with a corresponding sighting tool, which was called by the Egyptian the bay. Now, the bay made was, was made from specially cut palm rib, which was sliced in special V shape at the end. Now, the together could be used to uh, an appropriate determining the north. So, so now if you want to measure the time with the market, what you want to do is that you will go there, kneel down. Now align your market with the North Star there and then uh, keep a, uh, to level your North Star, you keep another market and level yourself with that. Now with this, uh, you draw a North-South meridian and with this meridian, you can just know that as the stars cross this meridian line, you can tell at what time of night you are there. So <laughs> Egyptians were pretty genius. So this is how the Egyptians used to keep the track of time and the mechanical clocks weren't there till 1656. They had a long journey to be here. So I hope you guys like the video, smash like, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.